there is strong evidence that there is a ninth planet in the outer solar system. And this would be a planet that's on an in incredibly wide orbit, so about 10 times wider than the orbit of Neptune or Pluto. So what we were wondering was how could you actually form a planet out there because the rest of the solar system appears to be so compact. And then you'd have this enormous gap where there's really not very much and then a very large planet, maybe 10 times the mass of Earth. So it seemed a little implausible to us that you would just create this thing out at such a distance. Uh, so what we were arguing was that you could create this around another star and then the sun could capture it in a close encounter. So the sun, like most stars, probably formed in a cluster of a few hundred or a few thousand other stars. These stars would be, in astronomical terms, squashed into quite a small volume. So as they move around, they come relatively close to each other. And in these encounters, they can move quite slowly with respect to each other. A planet sort of drifts from the influence of one star to another star. So we argue that this is how you could put this planet on a wide orbit around the sun. You first create it around another star and then the sun captures it. So we basically used uh, computer simulations. So we have uh, software which tells the computer how planets and stars behave under their gravitational forces. So what you do with this software is you set up the initial conditions. So you say, I want a star here and another star here, and the star has a planet, and then set them to pass each other. And then the computer will work out the orbits of all these bodies and how they move in each other's gravitational uh, potentials. So it's very exciting to think that there might be an extrasolar planet in our own solar system. I mean, extrasolar planets, by definition, would orbit other stars. They're all very far away. It's hard to study them with telescopes and completely impossible with, with space probes. Uh, but to have one in our own solar system, it's much closer to home and maybe prospects, particularly for, for sending a space probe there, would be much greater than, than around another star.